Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yeah! I have been waiting for this one. Solo Jazz, Dragon Swing 2019. What is Solo Jazz, folks? That's a big question. It's a big question. Nobody really has a clear answer for it. Um, in fact, how are you gonna be judged in a competition when, in my opinion, Solo Jazz is 80% subjective, 20% objective. Now, what do I mean? Well, in that 20%, we gotta talk about what makes this particular dance look like solo jazz and not like something else? Let's say maybe hip hop, for example. And one of the things that we talk about a lot in my online school, Street Smart Swing, we talk about why the dance actually looks solo jazz as opposed to something else. And here's how you can do it. Here's a secret. Don't tell anybody I told you this. The difference is in the torso. The shoulders and the hips are more quiet when you're doing the vintage dances and they're more loud the closer you get to the 21st century. So I'm gonna be looking at this competition to see which dancers can isolate this part of their body and show me a little bit of something I haven't seen before, some creativity. Obviously that other 10% I mentioned has to do with honoring what came from before. There are some basic jazz steps that were created by some of the original artists at that time. And without their ingenuity, uh, we wouldn't have our craftsmanship. For us, it's craftsmanship. For them, it was ingenuity. And so uh, being dancers in the future, we got to have that balance. We can't just say, forget it. We're going to do whatever we want. It's all solo jazz. Mm. And I'm going to be like, nah, uh, 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 uh. There is that dichotomy, folks. We have to be good stewards of this dance, but we also have to not sit on the sidelines of artistic um, creativity. So I'm excited to see this. I'm always excited to see new dancers doing solo jazz. Ah, let's see what happens. And here we go. The logo of fire. <laughs> Love it. All right, let's do this. Don't know who's who. It's about to get crazy. Alright. Hook, hook, hook. Boom. Jane Yi Shu. Some good timing there. Vasily Ki Papa Do Pulu. I think that's a Greek name. I'm not sure. I like how she's different, it's elegant, not rushed. Yes. Good timing, good timing. Alberto. Tisha, Tisha. Yes, I like this energy. Mm. 
Come on. <laughs> Being silly. <laughs> He's working those hips. He doesn't care. I like it. <laughs> He's like, you can do the worm, I can do push-ups. Watch out. Hey, good timing. love solo jazz guys looking at this for the very first time I can immediately see the strengths and the weaknesses of, of the dancers and so critically as a judge I had to first go to the torso issue that's the very first thing I look at more so than the ideas that are put on top of that I've got to look at that fundamental thing set that says this is controlled, it's isolated, and it's focused on the limbs as opposed to the midsection of the body. Now, the one who had that the most, if I look at it, I believe it was Akos, number one. Number one on the control. Now, the thing is, is he didn't just have control, but he had excellent timing. The timing on his sets was impeccable. I could see what's gonna happen, and then a clear transition, and then I saw something else happen that was easy, and then a clear transition, and then I thought the pattern would repeat, and then he would do something different. I think his was special because he had that balance of torso being controlled and having the timing to not do too much. Solo jazz, it isn't hip hop, right? So it's about doing simple things in patterns that are unexpected. You do a little bit that you know, 
and then you change it a little bit. And I think he nailed that. He was number one for me. My number two, Letitia. I believe that was right. Uh, she had all black on, yellow hair, white shoes. Excellent dancing. I love uh, her energy. That was the number one thing. And I liked her phrasing with her patterns. I wish I, wish I could have saw a little bit more I wish I could have saw a little bit more of the transitions with more clarity. And I think that was because of the torso. Um, she had so much great energy and, and ideas. But because of the torso, I couldn't really tell what to focus on. Right? It wasn't enough contrast between quiet and loud. Quiet and loud. But still, even with what she had, she had timing and she had creativity. So therefore, she gets number two for me. Um... And number three, um, I would probably have to give it to uh, the wonderful dancer had to pink on. I think her first set was solid because I saw someone who was being themselves. They didn't try to do everything everybody else was doing. But the reason I got her third because her second set wasn't as strong as that first set. I think she came out with confidence, not moving the torso too much. I could see that she was more rounded in her movements. It was a lot more flow and a lot more groove. It was a, it was a very strong contrast compared to a lot of the other dancers. And I really like that. I like that. Those are the three that I remember the most. And as a judge, that that's what I would do. I would look at Akos first. Uh, Leticia, I believe. I might be saying that wrong. She was second, and the, and the wonderful dancer with the pink shirt on. That's third. What do you guys think? Am I wrong about this? Was there a better order? Is there a better way to judge something so subjective? Let me know in the comments section. You need to learn solo jazz if you haven't. There's more than just the shim sham. There's a lot of other classic solo jazz dances. If you want to learn that, hit that uh, link below. I've got some of them, the more detailed trick oration, uh, some of the big apple, things like that. You need to learn those old ones before you just get out there and try to reinvent the wheel, right? We got to respect those who came before us by adding value to what they did, not just coming in and doing our own thing. And these dancers clearly did that. They were able to do some of those old moves and yet add something fresh to it. That's the balance that we're looking for. So hit me in the comment section. Who would you think won? Let me know. If I don't see you in class, I will see you in the next video. Great job, guys, for all of you who uh, put yourself out there. Excellent dancing. Boom.